Hello and welcome everyone again to another video and in today's video we have an ultra league team that I ran on my stream and I won 13-2 uh, with this team 5-0, 4-1 and 4-1. Uh, the team is basically similar to what I've used to run in the in the past as I always say. Try to run similar teams to what, you, what I usually feature so I can save my viewers the most amount of resources as possible. So in the past we used to run Dragonite with Tapo and and uh, Golisopod, but now with the buff to uh, Feraligator, Feraligator is just a much better version of Golisopod, especially since you have Crunch and Shadow Claw and Hydro Cannon, when Hydro Cannon technically is much better than Liquidation, and Exorcist is just an average move. Crunch is not the greatest, but at least it does debuff the opponent uh, with, a ch with a chance, and Dark moves are much better uh, typing in Ultra League than uh, Bug typing, because with Bug, you completely like get walled by uh, Giratina, while with Crunch, it does like 55 to 60, I think 55 or 50% of the Giratina's health. So Shadow Fear Alligator is able to beat both Cresselia and Giratina while Glissopod struggles, okay? And we something about Fear Alligator we have that we don't have uh, comparing to Glissopod is that we have a Shadow Fear Alligator, which means you can have a much oppressive version uh of uh, galisopod of uh, feraligator while with galisopod we don't have the shadow and so you kind of struggle with throwing bad move set and especially when you have non-stab moves you kind of hate you using the non-shadow because with the shadow yes you lose the stab bonus but you gain the shadow bonus shadow bonus is 20 20 percent stab bonus is 12 percent i think so technically shadow fill out that's what makes shadow fill out get it insane enough so now moving into uh, alternatives if you don't have tapu fini or or fill alligator you could run ta uh, greedent in fact greedent is slightly better than fill alligator fill alligator is just a faster version so if you have a uh, uh okay if you have a Greedent, you could replace it with either of the water in the back. And especially you could be those uh, uh, Typhlosion. Because Typhlosion now is annoying kind of for this team with the Shadow Claw combined with Thunder Punch. But with the Greedent, you just destroys it. So yeah, without further ado, let's just go and talk about the moveset now. As Dragonite running Dragon Breath, uh, Dragon Claw, Super Power. Super Power is kind of needed for the Greedent because Greedent is just the most obnoxious, annoying Pokemon in the entire Ultra League. Feraligator, Hydro Ca Shadow Claw, Hydro Cannon. Okay, let me fix the Hydro Cannon. Okay. So Shadow Claw, Hydro Cannon, and Crunch. No Ice Beam. I don't like running Ice Beam on Feraligator. I'm a much better. I much prefer running Crunch over Ice Beam. Uh, with uh, Tapu Fini, uh, Water Gun, Nature's Madness, and Surf. Nature's Madness is a must, especially against Polyrath. Because when you throw Nature's Madness, it debuffs the opponent's defense. So if you are switch locked into, into a Polyrath, the debuff you with the skull debuff icy one debuff you debuff them back and technically it's it, it goes back to even so yeah enough introduction let's just go and watch the battles these battles were pulled from my live stream if you don't know my live stream i will be leaving it in the description below so you can go ahead and give me a follow so you can uh, catch up with my live stream especially if you are looking for the team early when you were the cops drop by uh first game we're queuing it to get it you know hopefully it's shadow claw and indeed it's shadow claw so this matchup you just blindly shield and you make sure you throw in good timing so you don't want them to throw opponents throwing ancient power i'm assuming they have ancient power shadow sneak uh, you kind of need to run dragon uh, dragon claw since the opponent no shielded i knew i could farm all the way down so now let's see they brought in a charizard and we have two hard answers for the charizard but shadow dragonite is great at grabbing shield so what i was trying to do is catching but the opponent was patient enough so we did not throw and this is where it's like fit alligator is insane against the grass it's a water that beats the grass galisopod technically does it better but hey we don't we, we like like uh, fit alligator still do it great enough so now what's the play here well i'm going to farm as much as possible and wait i don't i didn't farm i thought the opponent has a shield they don't have a shield so just throw as soon as possible and farm them down and now we just swap and catch an, uh, a move, which we couldn't catch last time. So now this is where Tapu Fini comes in handy against the Fires and the Dragons. And that was a nice game one. Okay, moving into the next one here. 
Uh, Q time. Oh, yapping time. I guess I was yapping too much. Uh, Gliscord. Uh, you just instantly swap to Feral Alligator. Like, that's the correct play. But I don't like insta swapping. But if you want the advice, just go for a swap to either of the waters. Uh, I'm like, like my play style, I like getting shields down early, as early as possible. But again, this is not the correct play if you want to copy the correct play. Because I played this team enough, like see, I'm going for the catch eventually. I played this team enough and I know how to maneuver it. And you see here the opponent brought in Polyrath. In, 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 a, in a perfect world where, where uh, Tapu Fini doesn't have Nature's Madness, Polyrath wins this because Skull used to debuff a lot. But now Skull doesn't debuff as much, and uh, Nature's Madness is a guaranteed debuff. So, the next Nature's Madness is supposed to KO uh, this Polyrath. So, I'm going to overfarm slightly. I have to throw in good timing. Nature's Madness take out the Polyrath. Now, I know that they do have whatever they bring in. I'm just going to aggressively swap. But it depends which the Pokemon they bring in. And they brought in the Skullage. So, I'm going to do one... Uh, yeah, I'm going to do one, two moves, then throw, and that's the correct timing. And this Hydro Cannon will watch the Ferali, the Skeletage. Feraligator here saying, I am the better Alligator here. Which indeed is. Okay. Until Skeletage gets Blast Burn, Feraligator is still the best Alligator. Uh, Polyrath in the lead. This is kind of annoying because I am technically ABA weak to Polyrath. Polyrath does beat the Dragonite if they decide to shield, but opponent here did not shield. So... The moment I landed the move, I'm like, there is no reason for me to stay in. Let's just go to the Tapu Fini. Oh, Tapu Fini, not Fini. Uh, they brought in Escav. Escav used to beat Tapu Fini. It's a very close matchup. But I honestly don't care to win this. Uh, because my whole thing was trying to swap out to so I don't be so I won't be shielding my Dragonite. Which we successfully did that. They threw Icy Wind on my uh, Tapu. And now. Let's see what they throw. Oh my, this is an acid sprayer. Uh, luckily, I have a traded IV, Tapu Fini. So I was able to survive. And those sprays didn't do anything. They brought in the drag, the, the Polyrath. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to swap out. And hopefully we'll farm I'm down. I wasn't able to. And now they bring in the uh, Boostagoon. Uh, Boostagoon is a stupid Pokemon. 1, 2, 3, 5, Night Slash. 1, 2, 3, 5, Boost. Uh, low skill Pokemon. Lower the skill than Bastidon. What a stupid Pokemon, man. So I'm just going to throw this Hydro Cannon. Sorry for the Obstagoon Bash. I hate this Pokemon. I despise everything about uh, Obstagoon. It's just a stupid... So what I call it noob-friendly Pokemon. If you don't know what to use, anything... Like, Charmers literally require more skills than Obstagoon. Because Obstagoon, it's always... Oh, do I throw Cross Chop or Night Slash? And they both, you get both in five. So there is literally no decision-making behind using that Pokemon. Uh, opponent here is leading a tricky Pokemon, which is Tentacruel. Tentacruel is bulky. Tentacruel technically get a debuff, a uh, nerf to the Scald. But Tentacruel, as I said it before, the only Scald Pokemon that didn't get nerfed. Uh, why? Because Tenta doesn't rely on the Scald debuff. Opponent here went for the Zygarde. I threw here intentionally on CMP on the EQ and we landed the move. And now, since we landed the move, we debuffed them. I'm going for an aggressive farm all the way down. And we successfully get the farm down. Now, they bring in the Tenta. So, we're just going to throw this Nature's Madness. Uh, now, the Water Gun will do slightly more. And hopefully... Oh, my. This yo, this Tapu Fini is a new one I built. And, like, the Traded IV is literally coming in a clutch. I've never gotten to that other move there. So, we were able to land two moves. Now we have two almost full HP Pokemons with energy lead. Oh, my stupid Greedent. So, what's the play now? We stay in until they throw. We stay in until they throw. We know shield, and then we throw the Hydro Cannons. So, that was a CMP technically. So, I'm still not going to shield, because I want to see if they know shield... Uh, I'm going to Dragonite and Dragon Breath them down. If they shield, I'm just going to go to Dragonite and superpower them. So what's the play now? Well, we just Dragon Breath down. But we have to throw because, hey, they are greedent. So we would like to waste their time. Especially since they are losing this match. This body slam will take them, take me out. Take them out? How? I yeah, said so too much, too much happened, my friend. Okay. Uh, moving into the next battle now. And we have a Dragonite. 
into Trevenant. This is a dominant matchup for the Dragonite. And uh, eventually we will be shielding Beats, but that's fine. We don't care that much. Since we outpace, right, on the th th to the third one, it's always six for them, but it's six seconds for Dragonite, then six seconds, then five and a half. So it doesn't matter as long as we're throwing good timing. And we win winning CMP just like that. We always should have the upper hand. We won the one shield with and with so much HP. So this is the first Shadow, uh, sorry, uh, Typhlosion we faced, and that actually did so much damage. Opponent brought in the Gre the Greninja. Greninja hopefully doesn't get a boost because that will be annoying. That will be extremely, extremely annoying. And first Night Slash, and they, they they did get the boost. So now I have no idea what to do to be honest, because this is just extremely dangerous. Like Greninja is is one of the most threatening Pokemons whenever it gets a boost because Night Slash started doing so much damage. So my play here is just farm them all the way down. And that's like my only hope. And then get the two Hydro Cannons on the Typhlosion and throw them back to back. So are we going to be able to do that? I'm already at two. And either of these Surfs should do enough damage to take them out. I'm throwing good timing again. Just be This move does take out. But as I say, as I always say, make good plays a habit. Okay, always throwing good timing. And I apologize for the, like my background, there's so much lights. I try to dim the lights as much as possible, but it's noon here. So, okay, Dragonite into Shadow Charizard. This is a dominant matchup when they have Fire Spin. And since they have Fire Spin, I have uh, three Pokemons that destroys the Charizard. They brought in a Swampert. So this is what makes uh, Nature's Madness a huge buff for the Tapu Fini is that you actually don't care about them shielding it or no shielding it. You just always throw it. Whether they shield or they don't, you get the... Bro, this game is is, is bad. Like, like, look. Okay. I look, look how bad the game was visually because of the frame drops. I'm not touching. I'm not pausing anything. You will see that the screen pausing. See? Yeah, see? I missed so many bubbles there. Just for the frame drops, which is a stupid lag in this game. Now look, look how I lost two water guns there. One water gun there. So we lost the three water guns because the game is just keep f dropping frames for no, no reason. I think though my phone was overheating. So I kind of, uh, okay, this is a question for you guys. Do you have uh, cooling fans for your phone? Because I'm actually considering one now because when I touched my phone, it was actually overheating. So that explained it because whenever your phone is overheating, you should let it cool down because that's how the game will be. So this is technically not on Niantic, but it's more like on Niantic's bad coding. But it's something that you could fix on your end by just uh, cooling your phone. Uh, so yeah, that's your tip of the day. Uh, if your phone is overheating, let it cool down for a bit. Then you can you can start playing more. Uh, if you feel the heat, then yeah, that's where you should stop. Because the game is already bad. So imagine playing on a phone that is overheating. Imagine playing a bad game on a phone that's overheating. Uh, my opponent here is running Feraligatr in the lead. It's kind of annoying because we still have to shield the Hydro Cannons. Opponent didn't shield, so I insta-swapped, anticipating the insta-throw. They so they brought the Skeldridge. My opponent think that Skeldridge is the best alligator here, but my Feraligatr has to prove a point that he is the best alligator. So with shielding, matching that shield, the water alligator versus the fire alligator. One, two, then throw a Hydro Can. This Hydro Can is supposed to take them out, but will be they shielding or no? We still don't know. They did shield. So now what's the play here? I'm going to let this go as my Feraligatr did its job. Get two shields down. Okay. Uh, Feraligatr didn't fully finished the fight to who is the best alligator but we left it to another day because now Tapu Fini has to prove itself that it's the best water or the best fairy we still don't know oh they brought in the talon flame and we're going for the hydro can for the surf I'm assuming they did catch because I didn't see an incident that was an extremely well played by my opponent but now we started going for the surf as that didn't do them anything they are rocking a team of double alligators double fire that's for Pokemons. No, that's not for. That's three because one of the alligators is also fire. So they got extremely hard countered. Apologies for the hard counter because I know that trainer is is an extremely nice person. Okay, moving into the next game here. And we have a Dragonite into Guzzlord. Guzzlord is the better dragon here. Sorry, Dragonite. I love you, but sometimes you love go to someone you don't have. Okay. 
So we throwing good timing here due to the throw. Still Guzzlord wins. Guzzlord still wins this matchup. Look at the difference in HP. That's still so much HP. But my opponent is making a mistake by staying in. And I'm taking advantage of that mistake by bringing in the tap of and water. Getting them all the way down. I'm going to get so much energy. So much energy will be gained there. If this is correct, I'm expecting the Guzzlord to have a Trevenant and a a uh, what's that thing a tentacle in the back which indeed they did have why didn't they bring in the tenta there i have no idea well technically the match is still going to be the same because that means their team is slightly weak to fit alligator so what we're gonna do here is over farm slightly and go for double hydros damn my team is so weak to travel in the back maybe that's why you should be running uh, as i said greedent over one of the, the waters which will make it more of a balanced team so i should live a seed bomb here uh, but I, there is seed bomb get a buff so technically it does five more damage right but is that five more damage going to do enough damage to take out the uh, tap of Fini? we will see and it does do enough damage. So that's where like you feel the, the buff. Apart he's running Glissopod. I call it poor man's Feraligator. Glissopod used to be the best safe swap three seasons ago. But now it's just it just got power crept hugely by by stuff like Tapufini and Feraligator. They are just the better waters. And even Typhlosion is a better Shadow Claw user. I'm going here for a nice catch here. Aerial Ace does no damage. It's a bad move. I'm going to over farm slightly. Opponent bringing here a Giratina. Giratina is not the best answer to Shadow Fear Alligator. Look how much damage that did. Okay, I think we do live the Dragon Claw here. So we're opting to no shield and throwing the crunch instantly. Does this crunch take them out? Can a 60% Fear Alligator take down a Giratina from full HP? It did take it down. And now we're going back to, to Dragonite because my Tap of Fini does not want to see that mock. We're throwing the first Dragon Claw. It's getting shielded. Now we're just committing to the superpower. I'm shielding this even if this is an acid spray. I don't care. I'm anticipating a catch. Opponent did the catch and I insta swap. So that's what I say. Protect your opponent plays to have a better place. Okay, now we're just going to Water Gun all the way down. Sadly, the opponent get a charge move here. So the play here. Keep farming, get to Nature's Madness and throw it. Does the Nature's Madness do enough damage? We're throwing good timing. Okay, that was actually a good play. And Nature's Madness debuffing them and Tapu Fini is like, no, 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 keep your Dragonite with you. I can take care of this Poisoner, of this toxic Pokemon. Tapu Fini, well done. Okay, moving into the next game, we have at, at the, the Fire Alligator, the Skeleton Cheater, the throwing Incinerates and we're going for the catch because it's actually an annoying matchup opponent here is using septile septile actually is a quarter breaker it has it's one of the spammiest pokemons in the entire game as it does have leaf blade and the dragon claw and bullet seed so my play here is just get another shield and I think I should be fighting for the swap, but I was like, no, don't fight for the swap because the Skullodridge is so loaded on energy. Literally so loaded on energy. Opponent double shielded hits, so I'm expecting the Skullodridge to come back. I think I should be going for the blind catch there. And we shield the disarming voice. Opponent bringing the stupid goon. Okay. I say stupid goon or booster goon is a, the most noob friendly Pokemon. If you don't know what to use, if you have no skills at the game, you can lose use obstacle and double charm the pokemon literally is just very user friendly every five seconds you get to a night slash or a cross chop so i went for there just to punch it with the tap of because this video is about nature's madness tap of okay so we're trying to use as much oh my tap of just take a break my friend take a break you're just sweeping two pokemons every game that's too much i don't want you to lose your entire power okay Still need to, need to preserve some, some power for the next time we do a legend push. Now we're clapping rank 16 trainers. I did not play for like the past 5 days. So technically that's why we we are low rank. We're playing... Uh, oh my Cress, man. Cress destroys the entire team. And this is again why Giratina is... Uh, sorry, Greedent is better with this team than, than one of the waters. Uh, I if I have to switch one of those Pokemon's, I would actually switch Feraligatr into uh, Greedent because Cress beat Dragonite and the Zero One as well, like down a shield. So I'm just going to double shield here. 
because yes i'm going down two shields but i have three full hp pokemons and i can always swap out and at this point they can no longer call my bluffs uh we're going to the uh, finale gator here they brought in a tap of any which kind of walls us but we don't care we just spam hydro cannons and uh, nature's madness number one is coming uh, we're still going for a Hydro Cannon, and Feraligate is just insanely good at uh, throwing these uh, charge moves every 5 seconds. Uh, we see a Polyrath coming, and now we just have to wait for a bit, because we need to stall the Switch Clock, and we go to Dragonite, throw the Dragon Claw, because I was close to a Dragon Claw, and then swap back to Reality. No, swap back to the Tapu Fini. Uh, so they are in Nature's Madness range still because they are using a Shadow Polyrath, which not, which isn't as bulky. And this Nature's Madness is, I think, is going to put them almost in KO range. Uh, they swapped out. I think now I have a better play because I'm just going to commit to the surf. If we get it, we get it. If we don't get it, we kind of force them to throw. Uh, now what's the play here? I'm just going to throw Superpower instantly because that's when they get the surf. Uh, both energies are four turns and both fast moves generate three uh, energy per second and that's how you win games even though we get core broken by the uh, by the crest so yeah i think that's the last battle so yeah thank you so much everyone for watching this is the team again if you have any question about this team uh, make sure to leave it uh so that was everything about the video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. If you have any question about this team, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. And if you're new, new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And, and click all the buttons, ring all the bells. Everything is appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. And see you on the next video. Peace.